What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have a band called, I hope I pronounced this right, Memophila. How about that? Yes, indeed. Memophila making their debut on the channel. All right. This comes as a request from Samir Nietzsche and Mark Matthews. They both want to see me react to this song by Nemophila called Orin. All right, now, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard the song before. This does not, you know, strike a bell with me or resonate in any way, shape, or form with me. However, there's always a chance I may have heard this song before and I just don't know it yet. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I've heard this song before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Namophila, and the video has 696,102 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, this is Oren, uh, YouTube version, I guess. Namafala. Cool. I, I'm assuming this is the right video. This is the link they sent me, so we'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> There's things I'm liking, and there's things I'm not totally sold on yet. 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 Um, the drummer is doing a fantastic job of keeping the pulse going, and more importantly, keeping the feel of the song steady. Uh, I love the setups into those hits, the, the accents, the bomb, bomb, bomb. I love the setups that the drummer is filling into. She's filling into it, and the band follows and hits right on those those accents the pa 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 dead on very clean on those accents the accents are clean the intro for the most part was pretty clean now it sounds like we may be going into i don't know i don't know what we're going into we might be going into like a little little fill solo possibly or i i'm not sure what we're going into but prior to that the last like 16 measures I don't know if I'm sold on those guitars. They sound a little muddy, if I'm being honest. They sound a little a little muddied up. Um I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe it'll clean up. Well let, let's let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. Back up a little bit here.
again, things I'm loving, things I'm not loving. Um, guitars are still kind of muddy. Playing's a little muddy. Um, not the cleanest guitar work I've ever heard. I mean, it's not terrible. I've heard far worse. Trust me, I've I've heard far, far worse. When when they are playing clean, like when they do get clean, it sounds great. But when they're doing the little solo lines and the little solo riffs and whatnot, it's just as though there's a lot of bleed over uh, from other strings, and it's just oh god, it's just not it's not clean. Um, bass and drums, I got I got a lot of props to them. They are locked in. Like, really locked in. Doing a great job of keeping the song on time. Doing a great job of keeping the feel going. Um, setting up all those fills. Setting up the transitions. They're doing a great job on. Vocally, she's got some great techniques. And she's very diverse in her techniques. She's able to go, you know, growl to pretty much a, a screamo to uh, clean. And she's doing it on the fly, like, bing, bop, boop, no problem. You want me to go clean? Boop, here it is. You want me to go, you know, growl? Boom, here it is. No problem. So, she's very diverse. Um, sh towards the ends of her phrasings, a couple of times, she's thinned out. It sounds like she's running out of air. So... I don't know if that's a breathing technique issue or it's just the phrase is too long or she maybe she forgot to breathe. I don't know. But there were a couple of times where toward the end of the phrase, it thinned out really bad. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll, let, let's see where this goes. If you're going to do that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm always one for energy, and I got no problem with blocking like this. I got no issue with blocking. I love blocking when bands do it. The thing is, they're just, I don't know. I It's just, eh, 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 eh. If you're going to do it, do it. Put some energy, put some life into it. Put some, like, attitude on it. Right now, it just kind of looks like there's a guy... Going through the motions. Oh, we're just going through the motions. This is what we're supposed to do. And the, the thing is, that's how a lot of bands practice. And this is this is why I preach to bands that are going to do blocking like this. If you're going to do it, practice how you're going to perform. Because if you practice like this, that is how you're going to do it on stage. I'm sorry, but it's true. Your body gets used to doing things a certain way. Your body gets used to moving with a certain amount of energy and speed and direction. And when it comes time to actually do it, you're probably not going to think about it. Your body's just going to kick in and do what it's been trained to do. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe, now, I could be wrong. Maybe the intention, maybe they're intentionally doing it with that, very nonchalant, casual, swaying motion. Maybe that's on purpose. I don't know, but it just looks lackluster. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let, let's keep going. Hi, right, dirty. This is good. That's 
Something about that didn't look right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I thought we were seeing some video editing magic here and some witchcraft. No, 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 no. It's very unusual to see two guitar players playing the exact same model of guitar. Same paint job, same hardware, same uh, pickups, same everything. It's very unusual to see two guitar players in the same band playing the exact same guitar. But these two are. Interesting. So uh, when this guitar solo was happening, it looked like she, this girl right here, was playing chords. But I heard a, because she was soloing. And then the camera panned to uh, the other guitar player, but it was zoomed in on the guitar. And then zoomed, and when the camera went back to this girl, she was playing chords, but the solo was still going. But I, I just saw that guitar being used to solo. So... It's because they're using the exact same guitar. Okay, that now that cleared it up. Okay, okay, they're safe. They're safe. It's weird, but it's it it's safe. It's legit. <laughs> the ending there they got that decelerando happening with that then it decelerated through the entire phrase uh the, the entire ending section it just slowly got slower and slower and slower that steady decelerando very nice very tastefully done um there was some good there was some not so good there was some great and then there was some bad um, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll t I'll see you guys in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was Namafala with Oren. Uh, this was a request from Samir Nietzsche and Mark Matthews. All right. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.2. 7.2. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Like I said, there were some things that were good. There were some things that were not so good. There were some things that were great. And then there were some things that were pretty bad. Um, I would like to start with the good stuff first. Okay, so let's start with the good stuff. Uh, the good stuff. Guitar tone. The, the tone of the guitars sounded really thick, really full. I like the tone they're getting. Um, I, I saw energy in there. I did. Uh, the blocking part, I would put that in the not so good, <laughs> you know, section. I, I appreciate the fact that they did it, 
but the way they did it, the execution of how they did it, uh, lackluster. But I'm, I'm still glad they did it. But more importantly, when they weren't blocking and they were just rocking out and being themselves and being energetic and headbanging and on their own, that looked good. That looked good. That had some good energy to it. Um, let's talk about the great, okay? Let's talk about that rhythm section. Let's talk about the bass player. Let's talk about the drummer. Fantastic job. They were locked in super tight with each other. And they did a fantastic job of keeping the song moving, keeping the feel of the song steady, setting up transitions really well together. And they made it extremely obvious when the transitions were going to happen each and every time. So they did their job to the T. I can really appreciate that. Also on the level of great, um, the lead vocalist, uh, her vocals, very nice, very nicely done, very diverse way to show some great technique both in her especially in particular her clean voice when she would go up clean came through really nice it was a little pinchy just a little pinched but it sounded good it didn't sound nasally it didn't sound thin it didn't sound weak for the most part uh the growl sounded really good too i, I don't know if i would go so far as go i don't know if i would go as far as to call the growling and the screamo great but it was really good her it was really really good um on the not uh going back to the pretty bads uh there were a couple of phrases where the lead vocalist it i i think she ran out of air i think that's what the issue was i, I don't think she anticipated holding notes as long as she was going to or she didn't anticipate the phrasing and didn't breathe at the right time and it sounded like there was a there was a couple of times two times uh towards the beginning and the middle of the song where it sounded like she ran out of air and it happens look it does happen okay it happens to singers all the time where they have to take that quick breath you know and, and you should even if it means breaking up the phrase you should take that breath if you need to she didn't she tried to she tried and god bless her for trying she tried to get through the entire phrase but it it, it did taper off and you heard it you heard it you heard it run out of air so not not good when that happens especially if you're doing a performance uh whether it be in front of a crowd or in front of a camera is irrelevant you know it it happened um and the other thing that was uh pretty bad there were sections where the guitars got really muddy a lot of bleed over a lot of other a lot of uh ghost noting a lot of strings resonating when they're not supposed to be you know a, a lot of muddiness it happens again it does happen um but that's why you do your best to eliminate it and not do it in a live setting like i said whether it be in front of a camera or a crowd irrelevant when you have bleed over like that and it gets muddy like that ugh, it does not sound good so they, they should really be trying their best to eliminate that but overall overall when you combine everything like i said those couple of things that were pretty bad they weren't huge deals. It wasn't like make or break for me, it, but it was noticeable. And they, and I'm like, I, like I've always said, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I hear something, if I observe something, if I don't think, uh, if I don't think something's good, or if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So there it is. Now you combine all this together, though, you still get a 7.2. Now a lot of people are probably wondering, is that a good score or is that a bad score? It's a good score. Believe it or not, they got a really, it's not even a good score. It's a really good score. If you don't believe me, look down below at my scoring chart. You will very clearly see down there, 7.0 is the bottom threshold for really good. Now this was 0 0.2 higher than that. You know, this, this was this was definitely a really good. I would not go as far as to call it great, but I also would definitely not say this is bad or even okay or even pretty good now this is better than all of that this is better than okay this is better than pretty good this is really good i do see a lot of potential here i would i wonder what they sound like in a more tight situation like i wonder what the recordings sound like rather than a live setting um so I, i'm gonna have to check out more from these girls obviously but no i see the potential i see the potential here i think if i if i give these girls a couple more chances I think this is going to be one of those bands that I'm really going to be into, 
Okay, I, I just don't think this was the best first, you know, <laughs> exposure. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'll bet you there's probably better performances out there, probably better recordings than this out there. But this is the first one that popped up on the list, so this is what I got to go with. So. Anyway, there we go. 7.2, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.